Welcome to our Monday edition of A Word of Encouragement. Today I'd like to encourage our hearts through a passage that we normally tie to Christmas time. In fact, we touched on that before. Today, of course, we're hearing of how Russia is taking over a couple of the provinces there in Ukraine, and uh, things are developing very quickly there in Europe. And again, the world is unstable, but it's been unstable, frankly, throughout all of history. Man is sinful, and there is constant ambition and constant conflict. The Lord said there would be wars and rumors of wars, and there certainly is. And so for us as believers, we need to understand that we serve a God in the midst of turmoil that can do a great work. At the time of Luke chapter 1, the Roman Empire controlled Israel, and things were not easy for the Jewish people. And the world, of course, was under the iron grip of that empire. In fact, Daniel's prophecies predicted that there would be an empire exactly like the Roman Empire. But the Roman Empire, God was able to use it to be the means for the quick dissemination of the gospel after the great victory of Jesus Christ. And we see that even in the prophecy given to Mary here about the fact that she was going to have a child as a virgin who would be the Son of God, Emmanuel, God with us. And in that communication with Gabriel, uh, we have the wonderful uh, just testimony from God, for with God nothing shall be impossible. And we need to understand that whatever the next scene in world history is, it is not greater than the control of our God. In fact, man does not move, and nations do not move, and empires do not move without the permission of God. Now, Satan is the God of this world, and God allows him to do what he does in controlling unregenerate men. But even at that, God is in the heavens fully able to do what he wants to do. And so we as believers need to have that deep comfort, that deep encouragement in our hearts that with God, nothing is impossible. Yes, Jesus was virgin born and Mary had the privilege of seeing that happen and being a very integral part of that. And yes, her son did die on the cross a Roman crucifixion, but rose again and then ascended to the right hand of the Father. The Spirit of God came upon the believers and the gospel began to go forth and the very government that was trying to oppress God's people by the power of Satan was used to be the tool with its transportation and all that had occurred even in the same language being used. That empire became the tool of God to bring the news that Jesus can save. So it's exciting. With God, nothing's impossible. And so let's encourage ourselves that the main thing right now is we need to get into fellowship with God, allow him to use our lives exactly as he wants to use them, and we can be part of seeing God do the impossible.